hi friends in this video i'll make like is it recommended in 2025 to come to uk for masters i know like uh, many people many students are planning to come to the uk uh, to do masters to do their masters <clears throat> in 2025 so is it recommended now after i completed my masters i have got my marks also in the dissertation i passed it so but i have seriously thought is it recommended for indian students i am speaking about indian students to come to the uk to complete their masters see for indian students normally take loans huge am i have seen a person i have seen a student taken uh, around uh, for 40 lakhs loan and came to the uk for doing masters now the problem is like you get like 2 years psw after you complete the masters but still is it recommended to come to the uk with so heavy loans for me for example i completed my masters if i don't do a single job in uk and i go back to india my life won't be affected much for me i came because i know like even if i am not success not i didn't got a job in uk i couldn't work in uk i go back to india my life will be unaffected by it but all indian students life are not like that many people are a single child of their parents their parents don't earn anything they don't earn much and they take heavy loans 40 lakhs loans and come to the uk for studying and then for psw they wait for psw they are hopeful like in psw they get they will get a job and then if they have to go back to india then their whole life they will waste just to repay that loan so is it worthful to come to the uk in today's times see my suggestion is don't come to the uk if you are coming from india the reason i am telling you this in the uk now if you are an international student getting a job after completing your masters is tough it's more tough to get a job with tied to visa i have seen many people over here who have come earlier have not got a job they have done their entire two years in doing part time job and now they are going back to india with part time job also you can earn good but are you coming to the uk doing masters for doing part time job for 2 years think carefully so my suggestion is don't take heavy loans and come to the uk because whole your life will waste your time just to re repay those loans if you are coming if you are coming to the uk just for your masters degree you don't have any interest in doing job you get a job don't get a job nothing matters then you can come if you go back to india nothing will get affected in your, in your life then is fine for me nothing will get affected so for me is a different thing but everyone is not like that so my suggestion is go to uh, european countries eu countries like G germany is the best option because in germany there is no fees it may happen that you you may need to learn a bit of G german take 2 years if you don't have if you have time take 2 years and then come then go go to germany you to take 2 years learn german and then go to germany your fees will fall drastically you will not pay a single penny for your 
stud studies your all your money will go just to maintain yourself like food and traveling and because you are a student in germany for students there are specific discounts in the whole country so you you own you own uh, have to give so much amount you don't have to waste so much money on on food and traveling so my uh, suggestion is go to germany or learn french and go to france you will if you learn french then also i don't think you have so much fees you have to pay pay if you join a course which is taught in french and then after learning french you can stay in france for 5 years but my suggestion is don't come to uk things are getting tough over here to get a job so my suggestion is don't come to uk if you are coming to uk think maximum chances are you will not get a job and you have to go back to india and don't waste your whole life just to repay those loans no is not worth it so take your time think my suggestion don't come to uk go to some other countries go go to some go to germany france then over there are some other countries are there like uh, netherlands i think i don't know i i can't say much about netherlands but france france and germany are the two hot spots you can check F like in low price you can study in germany in france also i think much cheaper price than uk so those are the two options you you just have to learn french and german so you, if you have time if you are a college student learn both learn both french and german both two languages learn if you have 3 4 5 years of time learn german french both in 5 5 years at least you will learn to basic le level that will also give you advantage to go to one of those countries or advantage to go to both of those countries right so my suggestion is if you are taking a big loan coming to the uk don't come to the uk if you are going to germany you don't have to pay such a heavy loans thing is like and some people assume like they will pass masters in uk passing masters in the uk is not easy study over here is much difficult than india back in india some you youtubers say nonsense like studying over here is much easy no it's not easy it's tough so i have made one video where whoever is studying over there made one video what are the strategies they can follow to make their life easy in uk they as a student how to gain marks in uk or which subjects you should choose or not to choose check my previous video i have made in that see you in the next video thanks bye